Let's look at the nootropics, starting with the original racetams. The first one was Pi Racetam, developed from GABA. It was first synthesised by UCB Laboratories in Belgium in the 1960s. Its original use was to treat motion and altitude sickness, but the published references inform us that it can aid learning, protect against various neurotoxins, treat amnesia induced by hypoxia and electroshock, and even accelerate EEG return to normal in hypoxic conditions. Interestingly, pyracetam has an LD50 better than salt. The LD50 is literally the lethal dose at which 50% of animals die. The fact that pyracetam has to actually be dosed at more than salt to reach its LD50 makes it one of the safest pharmacological developments ever produced. The two most consistently available racetams are pyracetam and aniracetam, with occasional sightings of pramiracetam and oxyracetam. All the analogues have been shown to be more potent than pyracetam when comparing dosage to body weight, with usually half to a quarter of the equivalent pyracetam dosage required. One clinical trial suggested that the optimal dose of pyracetam was 100 mg per kilogram body weight, but that pramiracetam's optimal dose was 15 mg per kilogram body weight, effectively making it seven times more potent. However, I can tell you that the majority of the analogues cost two to four times more gram to gram than pyracetam, so that may influence your decision. Pyracetam has a number of methods of action to improve learning and memory. It protects brain membranes under low oxygen conditions and also has an action on receptors to enhance acetylcholine. But perhaps the most interesting action of pyracetam is its ability to help information pass across the brain's corpus callosum. This is a bundle of nerves that connect the two hemispheres. As we know, the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body and vice versa. The left side of the brain is considered to be the language center as well as the dominant hemisphere. It tends to be logical, analytical and sequential. The right side of the brain tends to be intuitive, holistic and picture orientated. Research shows that people favour one hemisphere over the other, with the dominant cortex being more electrically active. Pyracetam improves this intrahemisphere communication and enhances electrical activity. As a result, studies indicate that there are improvements to short-term memory, enhanced vigilance, attention and, most interestingly, the ability to have ideas and turn them into reality. One way to determine communication over the corpus callosum is a hearing test called dichotic listening. The speech centres of the brain are located in the left hemisphere. Because the nerves from the ears cross over to the opposite side of the brain, most people will recall more words presented to the right ear than the left ear. Words received by the right ear directly reach the left cortex speech centre, while words presented to the left ear have to reach the left cortex speech centre by crossing the corpus callosum. Daimon's experiments with young, healthy volunteers show that pyracetam significantly improves left ear word recall. Diamond's conclusion was, the fact is that pyracetam improves verbal learning, and in this it would appear to be a substance which is capable of extending the intellectual functions of man. Our subjects were not senile, suffering from generalised brain disorders, confusional states or any other pathology of the brain. It is therefore possible to extend the power which individuals already gifted with higher intelligence and good memory to still higher levels, despite the fact that the range of their achievement is already high. Healthy ageing individuals note that pyracetam makes them more creative and improves clarity. Pyracetam is also noted as being synergistic with other substances, including caffeine and particularly with those of a choline base, such as DMAE or centrophenoxine. At normal dosages, there are virtually no noted side effects and no known contraindications with the product except for rare cases of hypersensitivity. Pyracetam is used in anti-aging medicine at doses of 800mg to 2400mg, two to four times daily.
and is perhaps the most widely used and best-selling memory agent in preventative medicine today.